Hey friends, so today what I'm going to be doing is talking to you about how I use this missing work form as a way to communicate with my parents and my students. So this missing work form here, um, you can edit and change all of the information on this um, to suit you. Um, but basically what we have here is a section for the name, a section for the week of, and then a section for ELA, social study, science, math, electives. Um, what you can do is edit these to make it more specific for your content area if you are not teaching all subjects, or if you are a special education teacher like I am, um, you may want to communicate that with your parents um, for each individual class. So now I'm gonna show you what the missing work form looks like. Um, it looks like this. Again, everything can be edited to your specific content area or specific um, teaching area. Um, the first thing that you have is the student you're discussing. These can be changed to put your student's names. What I recommend here is adding one as one student. So as you go through, student A will be here, but then you'll have student A parent email and student A email. That way you are lining them up. So all of the time that I do this, I will choose all of the ones, all of the twos, all of the threes to describe what that student is missing for the week. Then I'll go down here and I will have um, week of. So what you could do is add this week, this week is 10 five to 10 nine, I think. Um, and you'd be able to choose that option as well. So we're going to show you how this works. So um, I'm going to go up here to the eyeball, to the preview. And it looks like this. So it'll have a drop down menu here. So I'm going to choose student A, student A parent email, and then student A email. And then I'm going to choose this week. And here is where I can add what missing assignments the child has. So rough draft of boy who cried wolf. In social studies, there's no missing assignments. In math, no missing assignments. In science, graphing interpretation. And then in electives, no missing assignments. So when you hit the submit button, it will show up like this, and it says your response has been recorded. So then we're going to move back to the other missing form copy, and now it will show you that we have a response. So I'm going to click on the response and then go to this little green section here, which creates a spreadsheet. We're going to create a new spreadsheet. And this is what the spreadsheet is going to look like. So in order to get this to work, you're going to have to run AutoCrack. So we're going to click the add-ons here. And if you don't already have it, it will say get add-ons here. Um, and you choose AutoCrack. Um, I've already got that here. So we're going to go ahead and hit launch. So it states here that we have no merge job set up. Well, that's not good. So we're going to go to new job. We're going to generate the new job and we're going to call it missing assignments sample. You don't have to call it sample. I'm just calling it sample so that I know what it is. And then we're going to choose slides from, um, choose a template for our slides. So we're going to go to from our drive and we're going to click the missing assignments form copy. Or missing work copy to share. Then we're going to go to the next thing. It says fetching tags. So we're going to click next. Now on step three, this one's a little bit more difficult. Um, these are all from the form itself. So we're going to map it to a column in our, um, in our form, in our PDF. So the student that we're discussing, we're going to go for name. The week of already populates, ELA already populates, social studies, math, science, electives, all of those already populate. So that makes sense to us and we can close, click the next. Now we're gonna call this missing assignments 
available. And the type we're going to use is PDF. Okay. And then we're going to click the next button. I'm going to have it go to a specific destination folder. You can choose anything that you want. You can choose a folder from your drive. Um, I have them all go to one section. I'm going to click next. We're going to skip six, skip seven, and then we're going to go to eight and we're going to say yes. We're going to share the doc as a PDF, no collaborators, and we can use a generic response. Um, I choose no because I want it to go directly from me. Here is where you can add in your information um, for your email that it will send to the parents. In order to send it to your parents effectively, you're going to choose the tags from over here. So the first thing that we're going to choose is parent email. So it will copy it and we can hit control V and it will paste it. Now we're going to choose the student email. We're going to go to CC student email and then reply to. We can use our own email address here. Um, my email at email.com. And here's where we can type in our email. Once you've completed the email that you want to send, you're going to click next. We're going to run the form on a trigger. So yes, yes. Then we're going to click save. Once it's done, you will have the job saved. And as you enter information into your form, then you'll be able um, to have those auto-populate emails to your parents and students to let them know about your missing work. Let me know if you have any questions because I can help you.